of the things that I think it's really important for you to do is to start, when you're looking at the model kits, take a model that you can start with and see what you need to do to turn it into the next one. So this was uh, one that we looked at in a previous slide. This is pentan amine. So this is the amine group because the uh, nitrogen and two hydrogens are attached to a carbon that's only attached to hydrogens. So therefore, to turn it into an amide, I'm going to need to remove both of those hydrogens. And I'm going to need to use one of my little uh, bendies in order to allow me to create the double bond I need um, to attach the oxygen. And when I do this, I will end up with an amide group. And this is the only difference between an amine and an amide. Same molecule that you've already looked at previously. Let me just orient it so you can see it. So again, we have one, two, three, four, five. So there are five carbons in this chain. You can see this time the functional group is a CON group. It's a CON. CON is our carbon double bonded oxygen and our nitrogen. This together is what is forming our amide functional group. Just as we looked at for the um, amines, you can have methyl or ethyl groups attached somewhere along the chain, either to the carbons or to the nitrogen. And again, we would name them the same way. We would give a number for which carbon they were off, starting with number one being our carbon double bonded to an oxygen. And we would give it an N um, if the uh, if the side chain was attached to the nitrogen. And of course, you can have an N comma N if you have two methyl groups attached here and here. It's getting pretty complex, but at this point in time, uh, in our initial study of nomenclature, this is, this is almost the last group that we need to look at. Just one more, and we'll at least have covered most of uh, the key functional groups for nomenclature. Thanks for watching.